think anybody doubts the extraordinary sacrifices that men and women in uniform have already made. And when they come home, then they have earned uh, the benefits that they receive. And unfortunately, over the last several years, uh, all too often, uh, the VA has been uh, under-resourced when it comes to dealing with things like post-traumatic stress disorder. When that pile went off, they cut the fucking leg right off. The way that he was reacting to us got more and more violent and physical. It'd be nice to be able to walk out in public somewhere without a firearm. He was telling us that he was going to kill all of us. I've got to be on guard all the time. I definitely had some deep emotional scars with my dad when he was crazy. It was like, I wake up and drink, and I drink the entire what, day. And but I was in danger. I don't understand. I mean, it was either going back to the service. Who he was when I met him, I mean, is not or, really uh, who he is now. Maybe even taking my own life. There was just, there just nothing but blood and body parts, and <laughs> I can smell it, I can taste it, and I can see it. I, I could see it like it was here, like, you know, what's in front of me. And I've had flashbacks about them. And I never want to go back there. There was a small child walking up to a uh, post. He just blew up. He blew up and, yep. you know, arms and legs went everywhere. Okay. The, the lack of hope has sent him into, I can't do this life. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. I have to go back. I have to re-enlist. That's all I know. That's all I know how to do. I wanted to get some vets here. I wanted to really help them. I wanted to show everybody what we could do with this process. I have no doubt that anyone seeing these films and seeing the befores and afters will want to try it immediately. Will want to use it to help these men and women who've been out seeing and being a part of just devastation. That's all the only word I can think of. Devastation. And they've been a part of it. So are they all zero? Yes. Brains. I don't feel guilty for No guilt. Okay. Brains splattered all over the floor. Zero. Blood everywhere. Zero. Body parts all over you. Zero. And it's my fault. Zero. Great. People like me who were very, very skeptical about energy psychology methods in the beginning have become very, very enthusiastic about them because of one thing and one thing only. It's called results. But we've got the most incredible, powerful healing tool that this planet has ever seen, and we need to get it to the people who need it. Operation Emotional Freedom, the answer. <laughs>